Welcome back to Pittsburgh Today Live from the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show, also the home of Dr. Lori's Antique Appraisal Show. You'll find her on stage looking for hidden treasures brought in by show guests every day of the Home and Garden Show. And she is also our guest here on PTL every day. It's great to be with you. Yay. We love it. And we're going to play a game, Treasure Hunt. Dr. Lori's Treasure Hunt. You ready? Dr. Lori's Treasure Hunt. Okay, so okay. you're in the thrift store. You're at the yard sale. You don't really know what you're doing. I'm going to teach you what to choose, right? Okay. So okay. now. I'm going to give you the tips as they go, but what you guys have to do with your new whiteboards, they got very excited when they saw the whiteboards. They're fancy whiteboards. Are on them. Yes, I know, because <laughs> I wrote them on them anyway. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to ask me any question you want about any of those objects, right? Okay. We're going to go one at a time. We're going to start with a teddy bear. Okay. And then when I say, okay, questions are over, I'm going to answer your questions. Then I'm going to say, questions are over, and you're going to... Tell me what you think it's worth. Whoever a is a value amount, a value amount, a number, a dollar amount, and whatever you, whoever wins, is going to be the winner. Whoever gets most of them right or closest. Closest. Oh, I love that. closest. Is, it, is it like? Oh, don't start with the whole okay. over. Okay. I don't care. Closest. <laughs> I can't do math that All way. Right. Dave. Is All right, Dr. Lori. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, I, don't go over. Okay, we'll do prices right. Don't go over. Don't go over. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Ready? So we're starting with the teddy bear. Teddy bear. bear. Okay. Uh, okay. What's your question? When was it made? It was made recently. It was it made in America? Yes, it was made in America. Was it sold in a commercial store? Yes. Was it is it real bear fur? Is it real mohair, which yes. would typically be on a stuffed animal? Uh, no, oh. it is not real mohair. Okay, I said write down your hair. answer. How much do you think it's worth? How much do you think it's worth? The good question with this was when was it made? That was smart. <laughs> very, very smart. Okay. I have a, I have a Seven dollars, twenty-two dollars. Very good. It's worth ten dollars. Oh. Ten dollars. Oh, I and here's how you would tell. So for the rest of you, right. if you are looking at a teddy bear like this, and you want to know if you have an old teddy bear or a new teddy bear, see all the glitter within the fur. Yeah, that's new teddy bears. Synthetic. Teddy bears after 1980. Okay. So that is a new oh, teddy bear. That was a trick. That all right, no, well, I tricky, like tricky. that. I'm ready for another. Okay, one. number two. Okay, when when were they made? <laughs> now are they real? Now stop it! Now you're are being lazy. <laughs> How about where are they from? Okay, where are they from? They're Japanese. Okay. Okay. Uh, are they real pearls? Um, they may or may not be real pearls. I'm not answering that yet. Okay. <laughs> Could we examine the clasp? Yes. Here, okay. take a glove. Wow. Pull it oh, off take my a glove. hand. Okay. Oh, do this. And the like other thing that I would tell the rest of you now. to do, come on. The other ones that I would tell the rest of you to do, in fact is I would tell you to measure them, right? There are standard you, sizes like for jewels, well? for <laughs> pearls, right? What are you looking for on the class? I it can't even Japan look through this. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. A date? Would there be a date on the class? There would not be a date on the class typically. Are they heavy? That might be a question. Are they heavy? They're heavy. Is that they good or bad? Seem, I would think it, if they're oh heavy, they're more these two. <laughs> real. Yeah. If they're heavy, they're they're typically Real. authentic. Is, is there a yes. right way? Right. Is that true? Yes, that's true. Did I true. just make that You're up? You're asking doctor. the camera, not me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Silly guy. All right. I'm ready. Should we make a okay. guess? Okay. Make a guess. Okay. Did you notice how long they were? Oh, no. How long were they? 24 inches. Two feet long. Two feet of pearls. They should have a consistent luster. <sighs> See okay. now you're now you're messing me change. up. I know okay. it's Dr. Lori's treasure hunt, it's not David's treasure hunt. <laughs> what do you think? No. <laughs> 24 inches, a consistent luster of Mickey Moto pearls are $2,500. That's what oh. I meant. Get to I a forgot to put the two in the <laughs> the, So those are Get real Get to pearls. a jewelry store, yes. All right. Pearls. Clearly okay. we're not in the market for pearls very okay. Well. okay. Keep going. All right. All right. So what are these, these, are they bracelets? They're bracelets? They're $5. Okay. You think they're all $5? Okay. $5. No questions. Heather's going with $5. No. What are they made of, Dr. They're made Lord? of Bakelite. What, what, Bake the light, which is an early plastic. An early, okay. early 1920s, 1930s. Oh, so they're oh, like vintage from an era. Yeah. Oh, See, wait, this is wait, getting more fun. Erase, erase, can erase. She change? I didn't tell you to write it down yet. You're still oh, asking okay. questions. Uh, uh, um, I don't so know. So wait, let's move sure. this out of the way because I don't think we can get a okay, good we'll shot of them. Okay, we'll move that there. Sorry. Okay. So those are the bracelets. Uh, are, they, are they in vogue right now? Would collectors really be trying to get them right Collectors now? have been trying to get them since the 30s. <gasps> okay. Wow. wow. Right. Okay, write down your answer. What do you think it's worth? What do you think the, all three of them together are worth? Okay, got it. Okay. Heather's going big. 1200 with Heather. Come on, David. <laughs> <laughs> These two are Bakelite from the 1950s. This is Bakelite from the 1930s. This one alone is worth $250. The other two are worth about 100 each. See, uh, if you, you, wouldn't, you, right if you wouldn't have okay. added your extra zero well, once she said 1,200. I know, you I would. felt pressure. I had 300 initially. And then, I, then wanted, I thought I went so low. And then I know you all know where my stage is in, in, 
in A mm -hmm. here yeah. at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. And I am next door to the best neighbors, the ASID Interior Designers, yes. PA West Division. So I borrowed this from the great cabin. Go toward the cabin and I'm there too. We've been great neighbors for seven years here at the Home Show. I love them very much. This particular piece is your next one for Dr. Lori's Treasure Hunt. What do you think? Oh, there's a sticker on it the back. It says Hager on the bottom. From Macomb, Illinois. <laughs> Macomb, Illinois. Oh, so where, when was this made? That piece was made about 1950. Do collectors find this sort of era of stuff? Very desirable, mid-century okay. modern. Oh, it's mid-century modern. Very so similar to the very... interiors that you will see in, of course, the cabin. Are there any cracks, scratches? Ooh, girl! <laughs> no, it's in very okay. good condition. Okay, all right. Okay. okay, what do you think? How much do you think it's worth? All right. 1950s planter, Hager, well-known name like McCoy, Hall, Hull. Very nice, $250. Heather's over, but closer. Uh, one more for okay. you. Can okay. we do one no, more, Corey? I, do we have time, we have Corey? Time, Corey? Come on, Corey, we, you we love like us. games. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, we have to Poor hurry. Poor Corey, you just hurry. have to extend Corey's the whole show. Saying, okay, go. What do you think it is? Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay, is great. It, oh, is it, I don't uh, recognize like it at all. Uh, is it for sewing or something? Yeah. Everybody at home's going, come on. No, I don't know. Is it a candlestick? Is it a candlestick? No, I don't know. It's not a candlestick. I don't want to touch it because I have chocolate on my hands. I don't, I don't know what it is. Tell us what it is, Dr. Lori, because we, we're hopeless. It's a spool. It's a spool. spool. Yeah, oh, a, yeah. To put, like, yarn on it. Thread. There's thread on it. Oh, is that I what I left the is? thread on it, it to make like, it easier for these people. It looks like straw oh, look or something. Okay. I couldn't tell what it was. Okay, oh, she's found the label. Good for her. Glace. Glace. <laughs> I've been up a little too Yeah, you're, you have children and all. <laughs> all right, choose how much you think it's worth. Dates through the early years of the 1900s. Early 1900s. Okay. Right. What's the 16 and the 4 mean? What do you think it's worth? A uh, size. Okay. Okay, I have a price. I have a you have a value. A conclusion. Yes. You think you have a value? I have a value. Is anybody keeping track of who's been winning? I think it's oh, happened. very good. That's worth 20 bucks. Oh. Yay. <laughs> I think they're both winners. Dr. Lori Treasure right. Hunt continues on my stage <laughs> at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center Dr. and the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. I love you, Pittsburgh. You are amazing. We have so much Thank fun. You. This was so much fun. And again, you can catch Lori's show. It is every day through March 15th right here. It is today through Thursday at 7 p.m. and then Friday and Saturday at noon, 3 a.m. And seven and Sunday at noon and three. And if your item is too big, just bring a picture. She can work with photographs. She'll play treasure hunt with you.